What is going on, everybody? Welcome, as usual, to the weekly dev stream. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. We're excited to be here. Oh, fix my camera. We've got some very fun things to test out today. So last week, uh, for anyone who was here, we tested out build mode and the new audio overhaul. We tested out a lot of sound effects. So we it took so long, we didn't get a chance to actually play a dungeon and check out the play sound effects. So today we're gonna jump in and go into play mode and play some dungeons and see how they sound. Hey Zycon, hey Matt. Hope you're both having a fantastic weekend. Hey Thomas. Yeah, the, uh, the build sound effects were sounding really good. We found some things to fix. We made a lot of notes. And I think some of that stuff even did get updated, but I think we're going to focus on play mode today, and then we'll come back and check out the changes to build mode later. But um, yeah, also for those that weren't here last week, we added a what's new menu to the main menu. And if you click on it, you get all the updates to the game so that you can see what's new and you know use this info to update your dungeons so pretty exciting yeah i think for today This was the dungeon we were working on last week. Which has just a little bit of everything. To see how things sounded when we were putting them down. So I think where I want to start is... Actually, I think, so this dungeon doesn't have everything. It's just got the stuff, the items and stuff. I think we, we tested putting down other things and we didn't put them in this dungeon. So I'm gonna go to, I have a dungeon that I made that has one of everything in it. I think we're gonna play that dungeon first, this one, to get a feel for a little bit of everything and then we'll try to toy around with individual things after that i think that's the plan let me grab a controller because it's my preferred way to play so right off the bat you're going to notice there's a new dungeon theme And it's so good. It sounds so heroic. And such a nice change of pace too. Um, we've been listening to the main theme of the game for like seven years now. <laughs> so maybe not that long. I think, well, we got it like four years ago. Maybe three or four years ago, I want to say. But still, I've been listening to it for a long time. You know, and we've we've done a lot of conventions, and we've we've heard that theme on loop in the background for hours on end. It gives the "Let's Go on an Adventure" vibes. Yeah, similar to the main theme, but also different. Yeah, I agree. Hey, kitty. And uh, so it's really cool. Are there going to be pickable songs for different areas eventually? Yes, there will be. You will be able to select the theme you want to play in your dungeon, especially as we get more uh, biomes in the game, you know, more, more areas. So, yeah, that'll be coming up. Um, 
What's really cool, we, we integrated with uh, Wise, and um, Benny and Thomas have been hard at work on the, at, hard at work on this. And there's this dynamic element to Wise, which is really cool. So one thing that we're going to be doing is if you have, say, a room where there's a bunch of enemies and you get close to the enemies, then the battle theme is going to drum up in the background and the song is going to get more exciting and more battle themed. Once you defeat the enemies, it's going to go back to like more normal theme. So there's going to be a, a, a dynamic element to the sound, which is going to be really cool. So I'm really excited for that. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on with the audio. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put on my headset too because I want to hear it. sound here real quick. Ah, loud. Okay. Oh, it sounds even better on a headset. It's so good. All right. Let's pick up our sword. And really cool, the music kind of fades while this is going on. You can still hear it. And there it is. We've got an enemy near us. You can hear how the music changed. So good. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, and then you have the transition back to the normal theme once we've defeated the enemies. And there's so many new sound effects going on. Um, I'm just going to listen for anything that sounds off, rather than trying to call out every single sound effect going on in the game, because so much got reworked here. So as you're listening, let me know if anything sounds off or doesn't sound like it fits something that was changed, because we changed like everything. The new stone push noise is really nice. We're near an enemy again. We go down here, it goes away. And you'll hear there's a uh, like a wind up noise now when they're using the uh, crossbow. And we have that noise for the player when they're using the bow too. Let's see if I can get them down here. Come on. Come on, RNG. There we go. So, pretty cool. What do we think of the door noise? It's a little more subtle. I think it could use maybe like a little bit of a clang to it like what it had before maybe should get my notes out it's a bit more impact low pitched or need some metallicy yeah the opening sounds fine but not sure about the closing yeah i feel like i like the current closing sound because it's like a, a clang you know
one of my comments about the enemy music is we should increase the radius that's triggered otherwise there are scenarios where the music is constantly changing back and forth yeah i think it's pr like so this is a good example because he's right here they pretty much have to be on screen which But yeah, we'll play around with the radius and see what feels right. There we got the bow. So now we can make the sound ourselves. And the other thing you'll notice is um, the arrows used to make kind of like a metallic ting from the arrowhead on objects. It's a bit more of a dull thud now. I think it sounds good. It's uh, definitely less distracting and less annoying, so that is one good thing about the arrow noise now. Because <laughs> before, when you had a bunch of arrows hitting walls, it, you would hear this constant tink, 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 you know, so you don't hear that anymore. Uh, or even have it just be in the same room. Yeah, that could work. Those narrows sound great. Thanks, Saika. Arrow Tornadoes is much more tolerable. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. So you'll notice there, there were some new sound effects. For the timer switch, there's a ticking. Sounds really nice. And new sound effects for the spikes. Yeah, I think, I think you're right, Matt. The radius isn't quite right. It's close, though. And the Lizark has new sound effects when you hit him. Or no, he doesn't. There's, or if he does, they're very similar. And I like that, because I did like the sound we had. sound effect and pick it. It sounded pretty good. New sound effect when you fall in a pit. We're still working on that one. I'm not sure if I like the tone of the voice, <laughs> but it's funny. And then we're going to add a little ding at the end when you fall in a pit. We already have it for uh, items and enemies. Just got to add it to the player. Let me make a note of that too. So don't forget. Also, does the music restart when you go back in? No. Okay. You'll also notice in a lot of places, multiple sound effects are being pulled. So when you swipe with the sword now, it's choosing from a, a handful of different sound effects, which adds some really nice variety. So that's cool. Hey, Sanjay. Thanks for swinging by. Hope you're having a good weekend. Wait, why am I stuck right now? What do I... Oh. I made this dungeon, by the way. <laughs> Box should sound heavier. That's good feedback, yeah. They do sound a little light, huh? Blocks should sound heavier when pushing them. I think I'd like the music to pick back up where it left off if it ended recently. Yeah, that's a good point. That would be nice. Because then it wouldn't feel as jarring when you're going in and out of the music. Original block sound has the heaviness to it. Yeah, I think it's pretty close, the, the original. So I'll make a note of that too. Like, use that for... Inspiration. Original push. That's a good heaviness to it.
new sound effect when you dash. New sound effect when you hit these. I love the little hint of mechanical sound at the end. Sounds really good. Kelly's dash poof looks so good. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking that. Came out really nice. Like to make it so the distance to exit the battle music is longer than the distance to start. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Nice. Right, frog glove. Sounds pretty similar, but I really like that noise, so happy with that. And there are some variants, sounds like. There's a little frog sound effect that played when the statue activated. That's amazing. So you hear that swirling noise. That's the portal. The, uh, the spawner, I mean. Now listen, when I hit the enemy in the pit, you'll hear a new fall noise and a little ding. He'll cooperate. Oh, the ding didn't play. I think it's playing too many up-down noises at once. They want to treat that like one. One like poison. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I'll make it two. Up-down switch. No ding when you kill them before the fall. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Working on the time of death versus fall. That makes sense. I think the swirling portal noise should be a little quieter, a little more subtle. Spawner noise could be a little quieter. I think it sounds good though. And then you get a sound effect when it closes and opens. Sounds really good. Oh, that's pretty good. The sound of her taking damage. That must be new. I think the heartbeat noise is giving me anxiety. <laughs> I think I think the ding is enough. Oh yeah, it should that should stop when it closes. Spawner should stop playing swirl sound effect when it closed. Heartbeat. I wonder if there's another one nearby or if I broke something. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Getting rid of the ding for the heartbeat might be less annoying. Hmm, interesting. I feel like the ding is like very iconic.
Wait, what killed me? How did I die? <laughs> I don't even know how I died. Uh, I'm not stuck in <laughs> I might be stuck. Who made this dungeon? Doesn't make it not annoying. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Yeah, and a lot of um, a lot of these sound effects are probably going to evolve over time too as we play around with them more and more and see what sounds good. Yeah, the switch sounds really good. And uh, yeah, you'll notice too, a heartbeat noise would also work if you wanted less annoying, but that's also less of a Zelda feel. Yeah, true. Um, I think there's a new sound effect when the arrows hit a mirror. So let's see how that sounds. Yeah, it's a nice little kind of me metallic ding, but it isn't annoying, so that's nice. Yeah, how does everyone feel about the sound effects for the player taking damage? I actually so think they sound pretty good compared to before. Is it loud enough to redirect sound? Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, it could probably be a little louder. I think the ding and the heartbeat just sounds like a little too much together, maybe. Arrow dink on the mirror could be slightly louder. Okay, yeah. Damage sound effects are great. Cool. There's actually a sound effect when you push the statues. That one sounds like it's got a good kind of heft to it. the damage and heartbeat with a hey listen yeah there we go watch out look oh there's a noise when a statue activates that's nice Pretty cool puzzle, but it might be a bit too many things. Yeah, that's true. If it was like just a few statues, it'd probably be good. <laughs> 
Fire sound effects are great. Yeah, those sound effects. some of these statues in the middle so they cover multiple triggers. Sweating, yeah. Um, let me open this. I know, yeah, there should be a checkpoint past the spikes over here so that you don't lose if you die. And also because I don't think there's a checkpoint at all in here, and that's something we should test. I said everything in one room, but there's no checkpoint. Unless, actually, I think there's a checkpoint at the end. But yeah, regardless, it should just be in there. So I think this is where we backtrack and grab the stool to do something with. I don't remember. Gonna soft lock, okay? <laughs> that new explosion noise. I think the explosion itself could have a little more oomph to it, but I like the wall breaking noise. It sounds really good. Oh. 
Okay, and then we've got a uh, proximity bomb over here we gotta grab. Did I soft lock? <laughs> no, no, because I can get over here. Okay. I don't remember what was up with the stool. What do I need to do with the stool? Okay, I got the lantern. New torchlight. Sound, sounds good. Best door. Oops. The stool is here. This dungeon is so good. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. <laughs> I'm putting right on the fridge. I like the breaking sound effects. Yeah, they sound good. So you pull this over here to keep this head down, and then come back over here and like this, so you can grab the wire. Ooh, that was a cool noise. Clever use of the stool. Thanks, yeah. Don't blow up blocks. Oh, already did. Yeah, boss door sounds awesome. <laughs> that was cool. I love how there's almost like an air of magic at the end, like a breath, kind of. To match the green. Very cool. Oh, now we can come here and grab this. Warthog noises are pretty good. There's a new noise for the teleporters turning on. The uh, teleport noise was changed back to something similar to what we had before, which I really like. Oh, you can hear the fountain, too. You hear that water noise? Very subtle, but sounds really good. Yeah, also the torches. If you listen really carefully, you can hear the fire from the torches. Sounds really good. Wow, 
boss theme's been redone a little bit. I like it. like squelchier sounds squelchier yeah yeah silence while the boss line is dripping as a pin oh okay i was gonna say much more epic boss music wow Is it the same? It sounds different. Maybe it's just because I have the headset on? <laughs> I don't know. No, it's different. Boss music was definitely updated. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds like even the end screen music was updated a bit. Where did I miss a gold? What the heck? Timing needs to be tweaked for the end level music. Yeah, it is a little off, isn't it? Wait, was it still? Hold on a second. <laughs> You go to start the dungeon and the ending level music is still playing. <laughs> I haven't fixed that one yet. Okay. So you know it's a bug. Okay. That's funny. I do kind of like, though, that Lynette jumps right on the... Like when you have a scene transition in a movie and like the music starts before the the scene transition and you have it tied to the animation and not the actual level complete event oh okay yeah i guess like the music should probably stop here teleport up and then start the thing anything different with the training menu real quick. No, oh, I think it's all the same. Do I have a noise when you switch tabs? 
Yeah, this track is so chill and good. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think here too we could probably remove the on hover sound effect from the tabs here. good dungeon to play to show off some stuff. Do never ending dungeon. Make note of that just so we don't forget that the Ending theme plays at the beginning of new dungeon if you just beat a dungeon prior. Torch sound effect needs toned down slightly. You think? Seems kind of subtle, right? Sounds a bit loud. Okay. Oh, the ghost does have sound effects, okay. I think you get the lantern in here. Come on. That activating the orb switch noise is really nice too. It's a little like ding. <clears throat> I do think the ghost needs its like on death sound effect. Kind of missed the little the little ghostly screen <laughs> that we had. Chest opening noise sounds pretty good. I 
I think when I designed this dungeon, bombs couldn't damage you. So that's why I had to use a bomb right here. <laughs> I should update that. The uh, new fireball sound sounds pretty good. And the noise the statues make for like opening and closing. It's really nice. And I like that there's a sound effect when the head bops up and down. That's a really nice touch. Miss the groans they make when they're hit. Yeah, that was kind of nice. There's definitely a glitch there with the, uh, well, not a glitch, but we gotta make it so the swirling of the spawner doesn't play when it's closed. I was doing so good. the heartbeat's not as annoying as I thought it was. It's, or not annoying, but anxiety inducing. It's kind of nice. You know, as I'm playing through dungeons, I like 
I like that the music changes when there's enemies. But it kind of interrupts the flow of the dungeon a little bit. You know, like, I, I wouldn't mind fighting the enemies in a room with this music playing. We'll have to talk about that. See how we feel about it. I think the only thing you missed, I was kind of playing around with enemies in a room, and I don't know, the, the enemy music popping in kind of feels jarring. Like here, I don't know, like I wouldn't mind fighting these enemies with the normal music playing, you know? I don't know. I think it's something we should, we should talk about if we actually want the music to change in a dungeon or not. It just kind of interrupts the flow, I guess, a little bit. to change the music. I like that. Yeah, so maybe if there's like... Yeah, maybe if there's like four or five enemies or something, then the music would change. Number of enemies are based on any type. Yeah, yeah. And then that way it gives the uh, designer of the dungeon some control over it too, right? Like they might make a room and be like, oh, you know, I don't want the music to change, so I'm going to put four enemies in here instead of five, you know? I should say lizards. I'm so mad I'll open the door. Make a note of that. I like the idea of it being based on number of enemies. That's cool, because then it's like, yeah, clearly this is an enemy encounter. You've got, you know, four or five enemies you're dealing with. Oops. Do not have dash boots.
talk with Penny about it. Don't want to do too much brainstorming with him. Yeah, for sure. I made a note, and in the note I said, let's discuss. So yeah, the enemy spawners seem to have a different noise. A little more sinister sounding. I like that. upload an unbeatable dungeon. Yeah, I could have sworn I did, but <laughs> I might have uploaded the wrong version. Because there's a key somewhere. This level's named the un uh, the never ending dungeon. Case, I can get that fixed. I don't think. Okay, I haven't been in this room. But I don't remember. No, I think I came from that room. Oh no, this is the other room if you want the health or whatever instead of the gold. Never mind. Yeah, I think I made an unbeatable dungeon. I'll, I'll get this updated. <laughs> I think I originally had like a boss fight in here and then you would open this to open the door. Yeah. There's a key in the throne room? Uh, I think I got that. Yeah, because you had to get that to open the throne room door. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, we really need filters for my dungeons and downloaded dungeons. <laughs> see. Looking for stuff I uploaded. Oh, you know what? I think I uploaded this. I uploaded this under my other Steam account. Yeah, there's a card for adding a search to my dungeons and downloaded dungeons. Yeah, I don't think I can upload this. 
I know I do. I really need to clean it up real bad. <laughs> Alright, the other thing I wanted to play around with was the shopkeep, because I think he has different music. Scout. Sounds pretty good. So we've got this, uh, this is Scout's theme. This is for when you're near the shop and it only kicks in if you like stand by it for a few seconds. So it's not gonna keep on kicking in and out. So I think if I go down here, yep, original music comes back. Oh, well, that seems quieter. Seems like the original music got quieter. You go to shop, leave. Original dungeon music gets quiet. Open and close the menu. Yeah, that fixed it. Okay. Also, fun fact, this is actually Benny whistling, <laughs> which is awesome. What are you talking about? There's no bugs. Our early access game has bugs? Unacceptable. professional and never hear about AAA studios releasing games with bugs. Yeah. Unheard of in our industry. Yeah. Quality comes first. Before money. Because AAA industry is just, it's an art. Okay. I'm curious if Scout's theme will overwrite the boss theme. Ugh. 
Or sorry, the bow. Okay, it looks like the enemy theme does overwrite the scout theme. Which is probably good, you know, especially if we change it so that it's only, you know, when there's four or five enemies in a room. If we go that way. Not saying we So just try just running past him. Okay. the music. There we go. Okay, seems good. Doesn't kick in. You gotta spend quality time with Scout to get his music. Seems pretty good. Left to right. Seems good. I can even do a loop and he won't kick in. Does the whistling kick in? There we go. Okay, so hey, gotta be pretty close. Like here. I like how it's like scouts bouncing to the music. We need that uh, jam scout lean, the jam cat. You know, I know we've talked about PvP like down the down the road or whatever. A really fun game mode sometime would be like a hide and seek mode. Where one person's it and they gotta tag everyone. Be kinda cool. But they get like a speed boost or something. I'm thinking about the sound should be coming from the center of Scout's tile. I wonder if it should move the point to the center of the rug. It sounds like something you hear in a Donkey Kong game. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> you can see that. Yeah, it'd be fun.
like behind scan. Like the people hiding could have weapons to slow down the attacker. I really don't have as much feedback on the play music as I did the build. I'm trying to think what else to test here. There is a lot more that we didn't interact with for sure. Uh, where is my test dungeon? dungeon somewhere. Make a note of that sound because I think I worded that wrong. Dungeon have to pause and unpause to get normal sound level. interesting. You can put a lit bomb on a table and it lights comes in. I never thought to try that. Poison filled room. Oh, is there? There's like a poison sound effect, right? shocked how easy build mode is with a controller like it's surprisingly fun oh yeah you can hear the the poison we uh, turn off the music for a second here Sounds good. Very poison-like. Bloop, bloop. We're going to, at some point, add uh, bubbles to the poison, so I think that'll really add to the sound effect, too. Kind of makes me wish you could fish. want to go fishing in the poison. <laughs> fishing rod item when?
Is it really a Zelda-like if there's no fishing minigame? I mean, come on. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, you could have tiles that you can put items in. So you could fish up items. Alright, let's play one more dungeon, at least, and then we'll see how we're feeling. Maybe we'll wrap things up there. Should probably play a new dungeon, there's a lot of new stuff. Let's see, what do we got? into the prison. Team Dungeon. Let's play Tony's Dungeon. Tony makes some good stuff. Tea Dungeon. What new adventure awaits? By Tony7033. Yeah, like, right here, it's like you just started the dungeon and there's two enemies, the enemy theme is playing. It just doesn't feel right. I don't know. Interesting. Are those over pits? How was that? Oh. Those look like pits. They are. Huh. Interesting. Left or right? We'll go left. We'll go right. <laughs> oh yeah, false pits, you're right. Yep, you can see it. It uh kind of clicks on when I when I clip the corner there. Yep. Kind of a clever, really clever way by Tony to like outline these torches with the color. That's really cool. I bet you can get those if you need. seems like other sound effects don't play if other sound effects are going on. Like that enemy didn't make any sound when I killed him. Hmm. I'll make a note of that. Seems like sound effects are overriding other ones. Oh, get those bombs if you stand at the bottom of the pit. Oh. You know, for science, let's find out. We won't use them until we get there. Too many issues. Yeah, players all gonna be interesting. <laughs> Stand at the bottom of the 
Yeah, you're saying like from here, right? No? Doesn't look like it. Oh, down? From down here? Yeah, it doesn't look like I can clip through the right side. Yeah, that is a good thing. <laughs> I'll take it. Always nice when we think something's broken and it's not, you know? inner walls. Love to see that. Yeah, those bombs are exploding and not making noise. No cheese, this level is dairy free. <laughs> Something broke. Okay. Alright, well, I will give you my player's log after. <laughs> Oh, it is going off, but it's really quiet. Bombs fall off as well. Oh. I'm not sure if there's anything I can do with those bombs here. bombs here. Oh, I cheesed. <laughs> Did I cheese? I didn't even notice I cheesed. Oh, because I was supposed to use the bomb to trigger the switch down there. But the, the ghost was over it, right? Is that what happened? That was skillful cheese, though. Yeah, that was skillful cheese. Okay, that was cool. I like the ribbit noise when you pick up the frog glove. <laughs> That's new. Loving how Metroid this is, yeah. yeah. Tony does a great job. from the spike room. Oh, this 
spike room. Wait, no I can't. Um, that does seem right though, that I need to find stairs somewhere. Flip bomb in the room to the right. Yeah, there, there's got to be something with that, right? Because I don't think it would have just been used for that one puzzle. Although we can't get over there now, so. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I don't think I have a way to... Oh, I do. Okay. I'm gonna leave that green. Now I can go... Oh, wait. Nope. I want it to be orange. <laughs> okay. I don't think I have a key yet. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Gaming, yeah. <laughs> the bombs will never get old, yeah. I know. <laughs> They're so good, too, because, like, you can't see them coming sometimes because of the poop of the enemy death. It's so good. Yeah, Tony loves doing that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dang it. Love to see the stairs being used. This is a cool room. Yeah, for sure. Damn it, Tony. <laughs> Thank you. 
good puzzle. That was a good one. Alright, so we have bombs now. Torch to light. <laughs> Thank you. I got I got uh, hasty there. That was my fault. Oh, I could just use the frog glove, huh? Well, oh well. Yeah, you're right, though, about, like, the, the Metroid vibes. Like, having the frog glove to create shortcuts for backtracking is really cool. <laughs> Poor frog glove. So forgotten. Life still don't do anything but are planned in a future game mode. Yep, exactly. Future game modes, hopefully. Over time. find the boss key. Whoa. Okay, we got some camera shenanigans here. that where you gain a little bit of uh, distance when you're dashing if you hold in that direction. Good use of the interior walls here. Like to see that too. Looks really nice. Dang it. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> Making this stuff reset. Such a nice quality of life feature. What a difference. Yeah, remember that with Soft Lucky? Exactly.
Nice try, Tony. I don't even know how I fell in that pit. What is happening? statues from the side is janky. Must be some weirdness with the uh, hitbox. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? I disagree, game. aesthetic too. Is really Man, the boss doors are so good. <laughs> Love it. Alright, the boss theme should overwrite the enemy theme. Okay, good. And then I'm going to try and leave one of those slimes alive and kill the boss to see if that affects the music. So yeah, so you beat the boss, and then you get enemy music, which is expected. Oh god. Fantastic dungeon by Tony. Tony, if you're watching, thank you for making a great dungeon. Good stuff. I think the sound effects are really coming together. Uh, we found a few things tonight that we can take a look at. Uh, once we get this update pushed out, which will hopefully be relatively soon, uh, let us know. Give the game a good play test, play around, see how the sound effects are sounding. Let us know in Discord what you think of them, and we'll continue to refine as we go. But things are starting to look really good. Great dungeon, Tony. Thank you. It looks like we did indeed 100%. Good stuff. GG. Thank you. Soon is very tentative on how things go this week. Yeah, we'll see. Soon is a safe 
is a safe term, okay? <laughs> Soon could mean anything. It could mean five years from now, okay? Our Steam page said coming soon in 2018, okay? <laughs> There's so much cleanup. Yeah. We gotta remove all the old stuff, right? So. Yep, yep. Yeah, good stuff. Really excited, though, for where it's coming, how good these new themes and everything sound, and the new sound effects are gonna add a lot to the game, so. Excited to get it into everyone's hands eventually here. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll go ahead and call it there for today. Really appreciate everyone hanging out, spending your Sunday with me. Thank you. We will be back again next week, hopefully on Thursday. It's been a bit of an odd one these past couple of weeks, but i um, hoping we can get back to Thursdays for the stream. But we will let you know. Appreciate everyone hanging out. We'll uh, be back, back next week with more. If you're new here, um, make sure to check out our Discord. There's a link down below to that. We stream again usually on Thursdays around uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So follow us on Twitch here. Uh, and the game is available now in early access. It's $14.99. You can check it out, make your own dungeons, upload them right now. So get on there and do that. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll see if anyone's streaming, but I don't think, I don't think anyone's really on. Yeah, so we'll go ahead. I'll play us out with the trailer. Appreciate everybody hanging out. We are working on some really cool stuff in the game, even outside of the audio uh, that we are gonna be really excited to share with you soon. So lots of really cool updates coming. We'll share more soon as we have that wrapping up, so. Appreciate everybody hanging out. Have a great weekend. Rest of your weekend, everyone. We will see you next time. Soon. <laughs> TM, yes. Soon. All right. Thanks, all. Bye, Sanjay. Bye, Thomas.